So Robinhood just announced a new feature that's not so new at all because all the other platforms already have it, but let's just say it's new because it's Robinhood now, right? Now, the answer is guys, Robinhood just announced fractional shares for their platform, which all the headlines out there are gonna read, oh my gosh, Robinhood just puts an end to all the investment platforms out there, oh my gosh, this is awesome. And the answer is guys, I might sound like I'm not excited at all, but in reality, I really am, believe me, I really am, this is incredible, this is awesome, it might be a game changer. But the main thing is this guys, okay? Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me two times, shame on me. For me three times, I might uninstall the app. Now, the reason I'm saying this, I'll tell you guys later on in the video. But for right now, in this video, I'm going to break down exactly what I think about this feature and how does it compare to all the other platforms out there, including the Stash app, Acorn, M1 Finance, and every other fractional share investment platform out there. Now, if you guys don't know me, my name is Ty Bryson. I'm an accountant and I upload videos on YouTube every single day. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you get notified, and do me a favor and smash that like button, okay? really appreciate it now here's a question for you guys okay but be honest and be very honest okay and i want everyone to comment down below for this question right here and here it is do you guys actually believe that robin hood will actually offer this fractional share thing tommy wait what are you talking about they already said it so you can sign up is a wait list like what are you talking about it's going to happen now here's why i say that and here's why i said fool me once fool me twice three times on the the app okay Here's why I said it, okay? The thing is that in 2017 or 2018, they said, hey, we're going to give you guys a 3% savings accounts. That never happened. Did you forget about that? Same thing as this, guys. They offered the cash management account around three months ago. 800,000 people signed up for the wait list. We are still waiting. Nothing yet. And this is why I say the third time is with this. The fractional share investing. And if they let me down with this, guys, and let you guys down, I just don't know the integrity when it comes to Robinhood, okay? We've been waiting for a long time. Suspense is already there. Like, what are they actually waiting for? It's like a new year, new me thing. Like, what's, what's actually going on here, okay? So that's why I'm not too optimistic when Robinhood announces a feature because usually it takes a long time to actually happen or usually it just doesn't happen at all. So that's why I actually don't really know. Now, enough with my trust issues with Robinhood because I do have major trust issues with them. Well, let's talk about the features they're actually offering and how they actually work. And the first one I wanna talk about is fractional share investing, which basically means if you don't have $20 to invest into Apple, you can use $10 or $1 and buy a fraction of that investment and boom, you are an investor now. And that is awesome. It allows everyone to have an opportunity to actually invest. So to me, that's awesome, that's great, and that's how I started also. Now, when we compare this feature to Acorn, for example, which is the app I use to invest my money, the main thing is, guys, with Acorn, you invest and you actually can invest with like five dollars and that's awesome if you ask me and that way you can invest into a portfolio great stuff but you have to pay a dollar every single month and that fee is no big deal and that's why i use the acorn app to invest myself now the con is you don't have a lot of flexibility and on top of that you can't borrow money against your own money now when it comes to m1 finance it's basically like um acorns an enhancement um <laughs> like substances because i can't use that word because i get to monetize you know like um i'm um, searching with an s ends with a, a roids if you know what i mean but the main thing you know m1 fine is a very high version of what acorn is you can build your own portfolio with whatever investors you want to build them with and you can invest with ten dollars that's awesome if you ask me but the cons are you have trading windows and also you have this entire like m1 finance plus thing and pay 125 a year and to me that sounds corny and it doesn't make any sense because the features are just ridiculously ridiculously stupid if you ask me okay now the third app is actually the Cash App. The Cash App is by far the closest thing we're seeing to something actually being successful in the sense that, hey, you can invest cash with $1 into whatever you want to invest into, but all the investments are made in real time and there's no fee or anything whatsoever. But the con is they don't have all the investments out there just yet. But the main point is this, guys. If the Robinhood app can offer all these features plus take away those cons, well, in reality, guys, the Robinhood can now become a player to basically steal all those people <laughs> inside of all those apps and take that entire market share and bring them over to the Robinhood app. And they might bring me over if this actually makes sense and on top of that, if it's actually true and if they actually make it happen. Because in the past, again, trust issues here, 
they have let me down with the entire 3% savings accounts, okay? I'm just being honest, I'm just being real. Now, the second feature that the Robinhood app is actually promising to actually give us is basically the ability to build and customize our own portfolio. Now, whenever I think about customizing portfolio, I think about two apps, and that's the Acorn app and also the M1 Finance app, because basically, with the M1 Finance app, you can build your own portfolio, but on top of that, they even offer customized portfolios built by professionals, and that way you can invest into dividend stocks, whatever you want to do, and that's pretty awesome. By the way, you can build different pies in the M1 Finance app, and those pies contain your own stocks and investments, and you can invest into that portfolio, and all that money gets distributed across all those stocks evenly, however you want to customize. So again, M1 Finance gives you a lot of freedom, when it comes to building and creating your own portfolio or just like copying someone else's, okay? Very basic stuff. Now, with the Acorns app, they give you a portfolio built by a Nobel Prize winner, a professional in finance, and this portfolio, on my original $500 I invested, well, that has made me around 21%. So that's why I'm a big fan of Acorn, but also the very basic, but productive and efficient portfolio they actually built for us, okay? Very basic stuff, but also very efficient. And I'm after efficiency, not after things looking fancy and all this fancy stuff, okay? But, guys, if Robinhood gives you the ability to actually create your own portfolio and also gives you ideas for portfolio by professionals, well, they could force every single investment app out there to change their entire scenario and the game will change forever. So the entire point is this, guys. If Robinhood offers the ability to create your own portfolio, customize and complete freedom, well, that is incredible and amazing. But if they also offer you portfolios built by experts, well, now that also changes the game because now it's like, okay, I get everything from Acorn and also I'm on finance, but in one platform, which offers a whole bunch of other things, and it's kind of like, okay, this is going to change the game and it's going to force apps like Acorn, M1 Finance, and every other app out there to up their game or they will be losing a lot of users, including me, by the way, okay? Because I care about my money, not about these loyalty to these companies that only care about making money also. Now, the third feature that Robinhood is promising us with this entire fractional share thing is that they brought the popcorn, guys, okay? They brought the popcorn to the party. Basically, they're saying, Tommy, well, we're not just giving you fractional shares and your portfolio. We're actually giving you the ability to actually trade in real time with fractional shares. Now, I do presume some limitations to it. However, the ability to actually buy shares that are fractional shares in real time is insane. You might say, Tommy, you're overreacting. It's no big deal. Well, look at this, guys, okay? Imagine this, guys. I invest every single month around $500, okay? And every single month, the market goes up, it goes down, and it's part of the game, okay? It's part of the game, up, down, whatever it is, okay? But the main point is this, guys. I want to invest my money usually when the market is down. Tell me why, because I wanna buy my investments at a discount, that's the point here. But the problem is this, guys, okay? Whenever I invest with fractional shares, well, I have to wait until a trading window actually opens. Now, what that means is that when you have fractional shares, they only trade only around twice a day, around 9.30 a.m. when the market opens and around 3 p.m. before the market actually closes. Now, to even get the entire extra trading window at 3 p.m. on M1 Finance, you have to pay around $125. And on Acorn, you don't even have an extra trading window. You only have one. So you might make an investment today and it might take you until the next day so as you get your investment to go through. Meaning that if I want to buy an investment at $10, I can't do that. Because by the time the market opens or the trading window happens, well, that might change from $10 to $12 to $15 to maybe even $20 because you never really know with the market. So the point is that could cost you some money in the short term, but usually in the long term it averages out. But the whole point is that I want to buy my investments at the price I actually want to, but guys, the Cash App is the only app, again, that offers it. But now, the Robinhood is going to offer it, but to all the investments they actually have. So, that's why this actually changes the entire investment game. Because, guys, Acorn is very limiting. And on top of that, M1 Finance is very expensive to get all the features you actually want. And, you know, the Stash App, I just don't like it, okay? I made videos on it. If you don't know why, watch those videos because the Stash App is just too expensive and just too weird on how they do their pricing. It just gives me a headache, okay? So, the point is, guys, okay, 
all those apps have cons, but the Robinhood would clear out all those cons and make a platform that's almost perfect. So it'll take them from a great app to almost the best app when it comes to investment out there. If they actually make it happen. Now, comment down below, guys, and let me know. Do you think it'll happen? What do you guys think about when it happens? And if it does happen, will you switch over from Acorn or whatever platform you actually have over to the Robinhood app? Now, if you're asking me, Tommy, what do you think? Think about this, okay? You have an app with real-time trades, a portfolio you can build, customize if you want to, fractional shares, a cash management account with 1.8% savings rate, and also 75,000 ACMs, and on top of that, a $1.25 million FDIC insurance. And guess what? Guess what, guys? That sounds amazing, and I know it does. And that's why, if they actually make this happen, I might have to switch over from Acorn to Robinhood, unless by the time Robinhood releases this feature, Acorn has changed in some way. Because again, guys, you know, my loyalty lies with my money, not with my, oh, this app is better than the other one. I don't care about that. I care about which app gives me the best place for my money. And that's all I care about. So if Robinhood does everything they're actually promising here, I'll definitely switch over. But for debit cards and my checking accounts, I'll definitely still be keeping my SoFi money because till this day, SoFi money has the best the best debit card in the game. Comment down below, guys, and let me know. Do you agree with me or you disagree with me? And as always, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, like this video, really appreciate it. On top of if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you get notified. And if you want to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, uno uno, just DM me on Instagram, Tommy Bryson. And if you want to watch the video, for example, on how I made 21% on Acorn, watch this video right here. And on top of that, before I go, click my face right here to try to right now. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching and peace.